You guys have heard me say several times, I've talked about working for Lyft. I sort of kind of enjoy working for Lyft. You know, I like making the extra money. I hate when people stink up my truck, but I like the extra money. Well, this month is the it's been a year this month. Okay, last weekend I wanted to get a ride from my company to Discount Tire. I had rolled earlier that day from Discount Tire to my company and it was like a little less than eight dollars. Okay. Well, towards the evening, I was gonna get a ride from my company back to Discount Tire. Lyft wanted thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two dollars. I kid you not. So I assume Uber would be the same price. So at first I did not try Uber, but then I decided, well, they must be busy, so I'm going to sign on to Lyft and I'll just drive for Lyft for a little while until it come down and then I will go pick up my, my car or whatever, right? Well, I went to turn on Lyft and it tells me that I'm not eligible to drive because they're doing a background. So I'm like, they did a background when I started. Why are they doing a the background again? Well, today, I have been checking all the week. Uh, almost every day I check, it was telling me it was doing a background, doing a background, doing a background. Today I check and it tells me that, I can't remember the exact words, but basically it said that there was a problem when he did a background check my email. I go on my email and it basically tells me that I passed everything except for the state and federal background. So it goes into detail and it basically tells me that I was arrested in 1990 for theft by receiving, theft by taking or whatever, which I was. I stole a car in 1990. I was 19 years old and this has been 29 years ago. Okay, well apparently, I don't know, did Lyft not do a background check the first time or they didn't do a thorough background check. Either way, I worked for them a year. I delivered, I did 650 some trips. Never had a problem. End of the trips, nobody got robbed, nobody car got stolen or anything. But now they tell me I'm not eligible to drive because of something I did 29 years ago. But I'm like, I've worked for you guys for a whole year. I put up with the bull crap that you all, you know, dished out. You know, I still respected all the customers. I treated everybody with respect. I have a 5.0 rating. You know, 5.0 rating. But that doesn't matter because... I guess they decided to do a thorough background check this time. So I'm not, I'm fired from Lyft, y'all. In other words, well, the good thing is I got my company to give me a raise before this happened. And I really didn't need to work for Lyft anymore. I just did it whenever I was bored, you know, make a little extra money, whatever. You know, you can never make too much money. But, um... I guess because of something I did 29 years ago. I stole a car. 29 years ago. Well, the good news is this. There was a... I, t I told some people about I had a video of a little person that had a, a lot of cologne. And I was going to show you all the video, but I was afraid that people would, you know, hound me and I would get fired from Lyft. Well, seeing how I'm fired from Lyft, I'm going to show y'all the video. Not in this video. I don't know. I'm, I, I might show it in this video. No, I'm not going to show it in this video. It'll be a separate video. But anyway, that's to me, that's crazy. I mean, I have a $40,000 truck. At least it was a $40,000 truck two years ago. And I haven't stolen any more cars in 29 years. So why all of a sudden would I, I mean, what do they think? Because I'm, you know, a lot of people who've never spent any time around 
convicted felons, they for some reason think that we're on the edge of stealing something. You know, I don't know what it is, but whatever, man. Like I said, I don't really need to work at Lyft no more. And frankly, I'm tired of folks st stinking on my car anyway. So I'm getting ready to show y'all the tape of the little person. Dre, y'all have a good day.